Hey, good morning, Summit. This is Edward. You know this guy, Jake, and this is your weekly update. Make sure you share this on all your platforms uh, so we can get the word out about all that's going on. You know, it's weird. I say that every week. It's like when I get up on my sermons and y'all harass me and I go, hey, good morning, Summit. How are you? Yeah, we're doing good. Every week. Yeah. Every week. What's wrong with you today? You seem kind of you seem kind of down. This is I'm like our tired. second or third take of this video. I'm tired. I, we I, we stayed up late last night. Why'd y'all do that? Oh, I've been watching some TV shows, talking to my wife, having some deep conversations. I didn't get home till like ten o'clock, and she stayed up waiting on me. Yeah, and, you yeah. know, we just stayed up just enjoying in the conversation with my spouse. Dude, a man of your age, you cannot stay up late. You need I'm feeling it now. Although I am down uh, 12 pounds since Way I started go, my new diet. Way to go, bud. Yep. Awesome, dude. Hey, we got a couple of things we want to mention to you. As Jake always says in our uh, offering talks and over the last couple of years, ministry ramps up in the summer. And we know that many of you guys, Memorial Day weekend this weekend, you're going to be traveling, going to the lake. And man, we encourage that. Enjoy your family. Enjoy your friends. But ministry continues to happen here at Summit, and so we want to encourage you to be faithful in giving, be faithful uh, when you can be there, be there, uh, and uh, worship with us together. Don't forget on Jan June, Jan January, yeah, June, June the 6th, 6th uh, Andrew and Lacey Marshall are going to be joining us as our new worship pastor, and we're so excited about it's that. Really good. Um, uh, Danielle and Jeff are still going to be a part of the team, but Andrew is going to be giving some overall leadership to everything that goes on at Summit. Really excited about that, and uh, but then Jake, you know what really happens this summer? Camps, 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 man. and more camps. Uh, so excited about getting to see camps uh, back together and kids. I think one of the most life-changing experiences for me was at a retreat center where I became a Christian yeah. and when I prayed to receive Christ and then surrendered to the ministry at camp and just all those things that uh, took place in my journey in camps. I know you, you didn't get to experience those as a teenager. I was a heathen growing up. But you did as a youth pastor. Yeah, and, as a youth uh, pastor, we had great camp experience. I did actually have a camp experience uh, shortly after the family meeting. You remember those days, Edward? I'm trying and not to. I was kind of going, you mentioned this Sunday, kind of going back and forth of, you know, is Summit going to be where I stay? Do I move back to Longview? Right. And as an adult, I'll never forget this, taking kids to uh, Reach Camp. Chad Morris preached on Elijah being fed by the ravens, yep. and God spoke uh, clearly to me that I was to make not only Summit Heights my home, but I was to move my family out to the Holly Lake area. And so, Camp is a phenomenal opportunity for your preteen and for your student to get away, turn those phones off, uh, just detach and spend five days with God. It's yeah. incredible. Yeah, and preteen camp, June the 2nd is the deadline. After that, it goes up by $10. And uh, so make sure you get that registration done with Ashley like ASAP. You got to go online. You got to fill out all these forms. I don't know. Um, get with Ashley and get that done. Reach Camp, what Jake was talking about, um, is uh, for our student ministry. It's going to be at Lake Tomahawk uh, down by Livingston. And uh, that that is coming up in July. July, yes, July. right after the fourth. Uh, uh, yeah, right after preteen camp. And so those camps will be right there together. And we're going to be uh, doing our celebration of camps a little bit different this year. Oh, yeah, don't tell them, don't tell them. I'm not, I'm not. Okay. I'm just, it's going to be cool. It's really going to be cool. Now, in order for these kids to do all this stuff, we have fundraisers. I saw where you guys last week, um, some of you were buying those raffle tickets out in the foyer. Yeah. Those kids were standing out there. So appreciate your generosity in that we got a 5k run coming up in june we've got a uh, james caldemeyer fishing yeah a, a zoom zoom fishing yeah I, fishing. I i i don't know about this caldemeyer stuff once i found out that it was like fishing on a lake and not fishing for souls yeah man i'm telling you there are some pigs being caught right now on lake fort dude i'm talking about some Donkey Kongs, man, they're yeah. crazy. I'm like, like this, like yeah. this, man. I'm talking well, huge. We've got people. Um, we've got people that need the gospel, and you're out fishing, like on a lake. Hey, you got to be a fisher of men. You got to learn how to fish. Also Best have to do that. We also have Kid Venture Live coming up, and Ashley and Kristen need volunteers. So. Yeah, I said that sternly. I did. I sure did. Need volunteers. That's kind of a Chris Farley look. You like that? That's I'm kind of like Chris Farley look. Stern, Jake. All right, so pick up a card in the seat back. Uh, man, they need your help. I'm telling you, this is going to be a huge Kid Adventure Live because of it not being held last year because of COVID. We've got kids already talking about it. Mm -hmm. We're going to need your help. Yeah, and if you, if you don't have a card, you can always send Ashley an email. It's ashley at summitheightsfellowship.com. 
uh, or Kristen with a K um, at summitheightsfellowship.com. And so you can send them an email as well. You don't have to have that card necessarily. That card helps oh, us. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, if you say, hey, just use me wherever. Uh, we need men, women, teenagers, uh, everybody. All hands on deck. It's going to be a huge year. I'm just praying. If, if you've been abducted by aliens and you've got a relationship and they want to serve, we just need to get as many people as we can. Abducted by aliens. Yeah. That stuff's real, you know. I've heard about that. I've been reading about that. UFOs, all that kind of stuff. And that. Uh, hey, Summit, so had great crowds these last few weeks. And I uh, just want to encourage you to continue to be faithful continue to uh, invite your friends. Go get them and bring them with you. Service is at 10 o'clock. That means you can sleep in a little bit and you're still going to be out for the rest of your day to get to enjoy family and and uh, lake and all that stuff this summer. So uh, come join us in person. If you can't, we are live on YouTube. We're live on Facebook. If you're joining us from the Austin area or Houston or the Bahamas or Australia. Hey, hold on. Minnesota. Hold on. If you're joining us from the Bahamas, take a Sunday off and enjoy the Bahamas. Man, we're not here to shame you to go to church. If you're blessed enough to be in the Bahamas, don't worry about us. Or you can join us. We would love to have you be a part of it. So uh, anyway, hey, we love you, Summit. You want to keep going and correcting and all this stuff? or I'll, this... I'll wait till Sunday. Wait till Sunday? Mm -hmm. uh, well, hey, we love you, Summit, and uh, pray that you guys have a great weekend. We'll see you Sunday morning, 10 o'clock.